In terms of being inspired, I'd say, number one, first and foremost, without a doubt, I'm inspired by nature. Just every time you look outside or look at what's in front of you and take a close look, <laughs> you're always blown away because the way that the world works and the way that animals behave and evolve and the beauty, that all just combines and that just it blows my mind. And I, you can never get bored of that. You're always inspired. You always see something new. See, smell, look, listen, taste. Like, that's never going to get old. Growing up, uh, I didn't exactly have a lot of material possessions, but what I did have was a lot of freedom and a lot of love around me. What I learnt from those formative years was A, to be resourceful, how to look after myself to a degree, and to be grateful. Looking back on how I first transitioned to a twin fin, it would have to be the time when I jumped on an MR about a 6-2 from memory and I just had this feeling of freedom and liveliness and it had this spark of just something about it that just appealed to me. At the time I was riding quads predominantly so it was easy to jump onto that and it didn't feel too different or too foreign. Yeah, it just opened up a whole new world for me. There's, there's so many different styles of twin fin that are the people are riding now and that I've experienced myself and I think that's always gonna keep it fresh and I'm very grateful for that moment. Sorted. I'll take your word for it. 
I just want to be happy and healthy like everybody else. I want to use my life skills to the best of my ability to help myself and those around me. And I want to learn. I want to learn new things and I want to be creative. 